Can I say that? Oh, no, absolutely not. I can't not. say that? No. Oh. I am prepared to behave like a model inmate, and I feel I no longer pose a threat. Like what you've done with the place. Sadly, it's starting to feel like home in here. Yes, of course. By virtue of the fact that you have a different sensibility, a different cultural sensibility. Um, I was talking to the ladies who very kindly did some makeup and hair fixes on me this morning, and they were talking about the content in Germany. And um, I don't know that there's ever been this kind of thing. You have Amazon, but Netflix presents an, a, a new opportunity, I think, for the, for the German viewership. I, I agree. I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm so curious to see what elements of the show, um, different countries and different cultures, uh, latch onto and enjoy. Spark or too. Yeah, what they. What spark will capture on. the imagination of the German people? It's hard to tell. It's very exciting. Yeah. It's an old and very sophisticated culture that you have, so I think that you might uh, appreciate the fact that this is starkly American. Right. Right. Yeah. Representing starkly American characters. I mean, I, w I was so taken by the way the really brilliant Genji Kohan um, dealt with female characters and that there were so many women who were right in the middle of their own stories and whose stories were being told um, uh, individually and um, in a very dignified, uh, holistic way. It was really exciting to me. I've read a lot in my lifetime. A lot of scripts, a lot of books, and I know the real thing when I see it. And her writing is extraordinary. She simply does that thing that is great. It is inimitably great. She has an ownership and an imagination that almost surpasses uh, expression. I don't know how to put it into words to articulate her kind of genius. But I only was given two pages to audition with, it, and I understood immediately that this was marvelous, marvelous writing. So it's all in place for us, do you see? Okay. Thomas. Okay. She does indeed, she yeah. does. <laughs> no, I didn't need to do a no. film trip. I walked into that kitchen set the first day and I just knew I was home. It was great. And it's so fabulous. The sets are just marvelous, aren't they? Incredible. And, you know, that's Red's domain. So that is my home in there. Uh, unlike some of the others, you, you have to sort of wander around, mm -hmm. finding places to go and to be useful. Mm -hmm. But I'm terribly useful in the kitchen. So I'm, I'm happy there. Absolutely. I think that that's really where the show lives and breathes and... Um, that's where the heart of the show beats, sort of, is in the pulling the curtain back on all these unique and um, dynamic women and their relationships, you know? There's no question that Piper is leading us through. That is without question. But there's also no question that Genji intends this to be an exploration of every single character that she writes for. And as actresses, I think that that's sometimes difficult for us. We love to be important, right? That's the nature of the actor. Um, and I think when we're not, uh, it's becoming clear to all of us that this isn't about anybody being particularly important. It's the importance of the whole, mm. which is actually com very liberating. It's very end. liberating, yeah. It's very interesting. It's like once you grasp it, right? Yeah. <laughs> right. I think any political commentary is tangential. I think that, that it springs from the stories that we're telling about individual women and individual characters. And I think that that's really, I mean, just that's my opinion, that it's sort of that the, the, any sort of political stance comes from getting to know these women intimately and seeing their stories as individuals and 
the sympathy and empathy that is gleaned from um, seeing someone authentically and uh, the impact that that has, I think is incredible. I think that's what, that's what storytelling at its best can do. Or are you referring, Thomas, to the corruption, which we often yes, assume uh, is, that does exist, of course. It goes a little bit deeper into that. Of course. That. Indeed, so still there in are prison. elements of corruption that you see throughout. Okay. And um, that, that is, yeah, I'm saying that is a, I mean, well, it's honest. It's and true. That, well, that's politically, you know, extremely. Well, of course I agree. <laughs> I mean, this is representative of that fact, if nothing else, right? There are 50 great parts in Orange is the New Black, and 50 more to come, I have no doubt. Oh, um, absolutely. I think also there's more space in TV right now. You know, there's more freedom, there's more less... More content, yeah. There's more, there, just by virtue of there, there being more platforms, there's more room for more people to have their stories told. And also, it seems to me it's a place that there's more risks are being taken, which I think allows for unprecedented characters, you know, and a lot of the, a lot of women, female characters that are this in, interesting and complicated are unprecedented. They just haven't really been, we haven't really seen them yet. And um, whereas... Because I, it's always been assumed that they're not interesting, mm -hmm. right? And that there's no audience for them. That there's no audience for the Latina that, community, for yeah. the women of color, for a Russian peasant, right, uh, of a certain age. Why would that be even remotely interesting, but the fact is, it's wildly interesting. We want to relate, we have, it's humanity. This is the universal truth, right? Followed, 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 followed into the jungle. That's what I'm talking about, see you and me. We gonna be friends, and I give it to me. Sorry. Executioner. We're in the middle of the third okay. season. I can say that. Don. Yes. <laughs> <laughs>